What's good? What's good? It's the one and only, but what do I know? Boxing coming back at y'all with another one, man. So we got Floyd Mayweather in the news today. Speaking of Errol Spence, I'm not going to say what he said yet. Matter of fact, I'm just going to let you guys hear a clip of what he said. Shout out to fighthype.com. Fighthype.com, that's where the interview is. You guys should go check out the whole video, man. But I'ma just uh I'm gonna roll a clip of what he said and then I'm gonna speak on it, man, because you know that, that's interesting comments, man. It, it is, but I, I definitely wanna put my, you know, add my little twist to it as well. Because while I, I agree to a certain extent, I disagree to another. So, you know, here we go, man. With that being said, I want the best for Earl Spence. So, if I was training him, or I was in his corner, I don't think he should be fighting at 147 at all. I don't even think he should be fighting at 154. Really? I think he should be fighting at 160 or 168. Wow. That's just my honest opinion. Now, one thing I'll never try to do is try to compare my my boxing knowledge to the uh, to the IQ of Floyd Mayweather because though um, I've been competing since I was 15 um, and training, I know Floyd Mayweather knows the inside and out a lot more than I do. So I wouldn't compare my IQ to uh, the IQ of Floyd Mayweather. But I do. I want, well, let me first, I'm going to touch on what I agree on. I agree that Errol Spence should not be fighting at 147 anymore. Now, a lot of people don't like to hear this, but you guys know on my channel, I just, I just, I just call it what it is. Um, a lot of people don't want to hear that because, especially when a guy that they want to lose, when they lose, you know, if it's any, like, anything that sounds like an excuse, people don't want to hear it. But the reality of it is, we know that Errol that, I, I, that wasn't the Errol Spence that we um that we know i mean i for for me i feel like something was off i give now i give terrence crawford 100 percent credit um so if anybody comes up and, and says you know in like like say for example if we having a debate or something and you say hey you know terrence crawford beat errol spence i'm not gonna say yeah he did but i'm gonna say yeah he did beat errol spence you know i'm not, it's no excuse on that but you would be a blind, a blind man could see that something was going on with Arrow. I know for a fact, like even in the dressing room when they were showing Arrow on the big screen, I remember I, I had text one of my homeboys like, "Bro, why does Arrow look so high? Like he just I don't know. He just kind of looks out of it or whatnot." Now, granted, does that mean that that Arrow could possibly beat Tanshra? I don't think so. I think even at one, I mean, I would I want to see the rematch at 154 just to see how much better Errol can do. But I still think the results are going to be the same. I think that uh, Terrence Crawford is ultimately the better fighter. And he, he proved that because skill hit Terrence Crawford's skill set beat Errol Spence, you know. Um, but Errol didn't look like he was at his best. I will say that, too. But anyways, regardless, um... I, I, I would I, I I wouldn't I would like to see Arrow move up to 154, um and and, and that being because Arrow I rem, I, I even remember uh, I want to say it was during I might have been in preparation for y your Dennis Ugas and he was just saying like bro like bro I I'm only doing I got one more fight at this weight and I'm moving up and he and he stated multiple times in interviews like man I. You know, he he only sees himself fighting at one one fight for at, at 147, and he's moving up. And he said he only gonna do like a two two or three fights at 154, and then he's talking about hanging up the gloves anyways. So I definitely feel like um, 154 will be better. I would like, to, uh, like I said, I would love to see a rematch at 154. Um, if not, you know, again, there's multiple fights for him at 154. Tim Zhu, uh, Brian Mendoza. Uh, or what well, I think his name Brian Mendoza, the Mendoza cat that's been you know uh, really coming aboard. Um, for, well, first I feel like uh, he should have a tune-up at, at one. I mean, honestly, if he's not gonna fight Ter Terrence Crawford at 154, um, you know his first fight needs to be at a tune-up. Then, then you know like fight the likes of a you know you have um, 54 is a stacked division, man. Of course, obviously it's it's not likely that him and Jamel Charlo fight, but uh, you know he, he has many options at 154 or whatnot. Now, um, Floyd was out. Floyd was saying that he feels like he shouldn't be fighting at 154. Floyd said he should probably fight at 160. I'm not so sure about that move right there because, you know, that's just that's a big jump. You know, that's definitely a big jump, bro. And and, and again, 
You know, just because somebody walks away around at a certain weight doesn't mean that they should be fighting. It's the reason why Errol was getting down to 147. 160 is a big jump, bro. Those are some big dudes up there. Like, look at Jamal Charlo, you know. Even though the man ain't fought in two years, but, like, look how big his frame is. Uh, frame is or whatnot, you know. Um, you got... Uh, you not you got uh well I don't even think I was gonna say how many might get but I think how many might get moved up to 168, but I mean one 160 is not as stacked um as it as it once was uh, all of them fighters all the big names that once were big names seem to have moved up to um to uh uh 68 or whatnot so but I I still I just I don't think that that's a safe jump for Errol Spence to move up to one. Uh, to 160 and i definitely don't think that he should be moving up to 168 i mean imagine errol spence being in there with uh, uh david benavidez or uh, um or or like a david morell that like he's not his his frame is just not big enough for 168 in my opinion um i think the highest that um errol spence should should go and, and, and it doesn't even look like he's uh looking to go this high but i think the highest that errol spence should uh should go is is is, is possibly 160 and and that and when i say that i mean that to be in years to come but from what again from what errol spence says he's moving up to 54 fighting a few times there and then he's gonna call it quits or whatnot you know and uh, i'm not mad at that at all i'm not mad at him doing that at all i mean that's that's his career you know he's had a, a hell of a run at 147 i definitely feel like he should move up to 154 if i was him to be honest and i know he doesn't want to do this but just being honest if i was him you know your first fight at 154 like you just like you kind of want to test your body out you know bring up another 147 pounder bring up keith thurman keith thurman you know make that fight with keith thurman at 154 like you know um I feel like that that'll be uh, a, a good a good test for his for his body to see how his body reacts at 154, um, and then you know fight fight the likes of um, you know I, I don't know it, it's 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 many people for him to fight at at, at, that, at that weight but you know I just um, but I I, I I I totally disagree with uh, with 68 man I just I don't see how douche I don't see where Earl would be successful at 168 bro I mean. Um, I get it that he doesn't look, he, he, he didn't, he looked, he looked, I mean, he didn't, he didn't look good, all right, and then, and then, you know, uh, you know, some of that, we don't know how, like, you don't, as much as I've been saying, like, you know, Earl didn't look 100%, shoot, that could have just been, because Terrence Crawford, you know, was that good, because, I mean, who knows, who knows, that's why I would, personally, I would love to see a rematch between Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence at 154, personally. I would love to see that, but um, but if the re they, it's a fact that Errol Smith should no longer fight at 147. I don't want to see. I don't even think he if if, if he can't get the rematch uh, with Terence Crawford at one uh, 154. I don't even think that there'll be a, a rematch. I mean, not that it's really needed anyways, but uh, I don't think that there'll be a rematch involved because it's just it, it's no point of um. It's just no it, it's no point of him you know doing that again now. Um, you know, I, I, I don't, I, I see, I see Errol Spence winning the belt at 154. Should Jamel, I mean, should Jamal Charlo relinquish, um, his titles? He already is getting stripped for the WBO. Um, but Errol didn't have the WBO. Terrence had that. So, um, I don't know what route Errol would go, but, uh, I'm sure that he could, you know, eventually get a fight with Tim Zhu. Uh, that'll be. I, I think that'll be a. Uh, I think that'll be good, bro. I think that'll be a really good, interesting matchup. I think uh, that's a, a route that Errol should go. Um, you know, I think that. Uh, it, but but it, it just all depends because with fights like that, with the beating that he took with Terrence Crawford, you know, you kind of wonder if Errol would, would, would come back even the same as the same fighter, and that's that's the scary part about it. People don't realize how, bro. Like bro, beatings like that take stuff out of you, man. Um, I mean, look at, look at, look at, um, a prime example is look at Adrian Broner. Now, though, hey, well, hey, well, Errol has some demons outside of the ring as well. But, you know, you just, when you, when you take a punishment like that, sometimes it is good to take a while off. But, I, I, if you're going to get a rematch, I feel like Errol Smith should uh, hop on that rematch soon. Um, 
But you know who who knows, man. I, I, but I definitely I definitely see Errol Spence becoming a champion at, at 154. Um, and I would love, and I definitely would love to see him make that accomplishment. All right. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think Errol Spence should move up to 160, 168? Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. What would you like to see? Who would you like to see him fight next? But what do I know?